Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from PTC 2022. Joining me is Louis Fialo, Vice President of China Telecom Americas. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, Barb, thank you so much for having me. It's great to be back at PTC. Yeah, it's right? actually really nice. It's uh, yeah. been missed for a year. Yeah, yeah, I know. It feels like <laughs> feels like longer, but yeah, uh, yeah. it's nice to see you. And um, for those of our viewers who may not know, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about uh, China Telecoms America? Yeah. So uh, first of all, thank you once again for having me. So you know, I've been uh, uh, telecom uh, executive for over twenty years. Uh, started off my career early on with cable and wireless. Worked for Sprint. And went into an internet startup and then yeah. Teleglobe and then moved on to China Telecom Americas. So China Telecom Americas, I've been with the uh, majority of my career and I was actually joined the company at the beginning of the company when it was actually a very young company and uh, we've been, last year we celebrated 20 years. So a lot has happened and a lot of things are still promising towards the future so we're pretty excited. Yeah, and China Telecom Americas, which we're going to call CTA, right? Okay. <laughs> Just a we can call less, it CTA. less no of a, a mouthful. But um, so CTA is a leader in global communications. Um, tell us a little bit about your services and what you offer. Yeah, yeah. So um, obviously, uh, China Telecom America CTA. Um, uh, when we first started, we were focused on helping American companies go to China, right, and take advantage of all the resources and all the capabilities our parent companies had. And then over time, we started helping Chinese companies come into the U.S. Okay, and we uh, it continued to evolve our business. We, now we have operations. We have almost uh, 300 employees. We have uh, op uh, uh, subsidiaries in Canada, Brazil, and Panama. Uh, we are uh, provide essentially uh, communication services, primarily focused on the Asia community. Uh, obviously, China being one of the main uh, countries, but we provide solutions to help companies. They don't so they don't have to go all the way to China to uh, get the resources that they may need. Right, and so tell us a little bit about the difference between your. You mentioned your parent company, China, China Telecom Corporation, yeah. uh, and CTA, China Telecom Americas. And, and what's the benefit for people? I mean, you, you alluded to a little bit, but tell us a little bit more about yeah. the benefit there. No, so, so uh, we've always been the window to our parent company from the United States. Right. Okay. The second thing is that what we've done is we, we follow U.S. best practices. We hire a lot of uh, U.S. Uh, telecom exec, uh, salespeople, uh, marketing people, and what we've done is we built a business that uh, is an international telecommunications company operating in the United States that have the resources to be able to give you solutions that our parent company has built not only in China but other parts of the world. Yeah. So we, we, we are, you know, we give you uh, U.S. contracts, we give you U.S. support and everything else. So, you know, it really is, a, a you know, even the time differences and uh, language issues, cultural issues, we, we solve a lot of those uh, things that may hinder your ability to do business uh, in China. So we, we solve those problems. Yeah. That's great, and and I, I know that there's been a lot happening over the last couple of years. Tell us about you know some of the the things that you've accomplished over the last. Yeah, no. So there's there, there's really a couple things that have happened. One of them is that um, China Telecom America has really led the efforts of our parent company and us get to join Manners. Manners is a new way of routing that's uh, supported by the Internet Society. And as opposed to you just using BGP as the way of routing, and I'm not going to get too technical <laughs> on this stuff, but it's just a, it's just a more uh, advanced way of routing. We were the first tier one operator to do so. It eliminates a lot of the uh, natural things that may happen wrong when you're routing Internet traffic. So we're really proud of that accomplishment. Secondly, you know, um, I don't know if it, it was it really accelerated because of the pandemic, but we started something called CTA Cares, right? And it was our way to give back to our local community, right? And CTA Cares uh, was really just more volunteer work our, our, that we put together for our staff to participate. But it's it's really blossomed into like really focusing on different parts of our society and helping in, in the U.S. market in particular and in the countries we do serve to be able to bring everything for like coat drives for the winter to helping the elderly volunteering during the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, you know, our, uh, and this is really a testament to our staff 
you know, they've done a great job. They've embraced this and they've actually supported it quite a bit. So those have been two really positive things that we've seen. And it has nothing to do with, the, you know, the, the selling or the buying of right. uh, telecommunication services. So we're really proud of that. Yeah. CTA cares. I love that. And what a great time to yeah, be doing yeah. that. I mean, as you said, the pandemic, but also just in the world, you know, it's, you know, to have that sort of initiative happening in your organization is, is fantastic and a testament to your team and your organization. Yeah. What about looking forward now? So yeah. looking into 2022? Yeah, well, uh, hopefully the pandemic slows down and hopefully. You know, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know what's, what is it going to end, yeah. but um, our, our, in 2022 and 2023, it's really our focus is now to look at Latin America. It's really an underserved market for us. Yeah. As I mentioned, we we serve uh, we have a, a subsidiary in Brazil, which is an ISP wholesale provider, and it's actually one of the largest uh, transit providers, IP transit providers in the market. Yeah. And in Panama, we built a business that's really solving a lot of ICT solutions. Um, but now we're looking at other countries. We've already announced that we want our intention is to go to countries like Mexico, uh, Peru, Argentina, Chile and we'll keep adding more countries um, and our goal is to really serve you know the underserved markets um, I think we're also in a very fortuitous position that our parent company has a lot of technical knowledge that we can share in those local economies yeah. we work not only with the, uh, the local companies there but we also work with the governments in many ways they've asked us to participate in helping uh, on 5g initiatives uh, wireless initiatives and and so forth so I think you know that's where we're going to see a lot of our future future growth in the coming years. Well, we look forward to to watching this this you know unveil itself and, and progress. And I really appreciate you coming and sharing all of this with us and and getting a bit of time to see you yeah, here yeah, in person yeah. at PTC. No, I, I'm, I'm really honored. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah. And you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your trip here. Yeah, okay. like yeah, yeah, you as well. Thank okay. you, thank you, Lewis, and okay. thank you viewers uh, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking.